What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another edition of Uncommon Sense. And here we are with a top 10 for summer 2024. Maybe it's just a bunch of fragrances that I'm gonna be wearing this summer that I think you should know about and you should give it a try. In no particular order, okay? Dua Tropicalia. I love this fragrance for the simple fact. It reminds me of when you first open an orange or a yellow starburst. Put those two together, that's what you're getting Tropicalia. It's citrus, it's musk. It's really one of those juicy fragrances. And this Dua is a Dua original. This is not a dupe for anything that I know of. It's photorealistic orange, citrus, lemon, all of that. It's a fairly linear fragrance. It smells like summer. And with summer being one of my favorite seasons, Tropicalia is the one. And the concentration is Nexterat de Parfum. Next up, Mancera Oud Lemon Mint. With Mancera Oud Lemon Mint, this has been a consistent rotation in my top tens for various reasons. One, this fragrance smells nothing like I've ever smelled. It's creamy while being sharp, fresh and sexy. It kind of has a leathery vibe to it that nobody's been able to duplicate as far as I've smelled. Oud Lemon Mint is probably gonna always be in a top 10 for me, especially when it comes for summer. I wore it in the heat one time and I'm forever changed. So if you've never worn Oud Lemon Mint in the heat and humidity, do yourself a flavor, check it out. Next up, Roja Dove Elysium. This fragrance has been taking over as a daily driver for me. And with it being as costly as it can be, that's a little problematic. So sometimes I wear the dupes that I have. Sometimes I wear the Parfum Cologne concentration. Elysium, I have gotten most unsolicited compliments every time I've worn this fragrance. To me, it wears a little bit light, so I have to go a little heavy on the trigger. And it's just, oh, so fresh and sexy. A little bit of the trigger. And it's just... Oh, so fresh and sexy. A little bit of that citrus and leather combination that seeming to be a winner amongst a lot of different fragrance companies. So this one is like the Blue de Chanel of Roja. It's just an easy reach. I just didn't wish it, I wish it didn't cost as much as it does, but I have several dupes and iterations of it. So there I can cycle off and on without having to replace this bottle too often. Next up, Tiziana Terenze's Vele. One of those fragrances that screams tropical. I take this with me whenever I go out of the country. It is a vacation fragrance. I just got an idea. We need a vacation fragrance list. Let me know in the comments if you all are feeling a vacation fragrance list and give me a thumbs up and say, vacation fragrance list, please. Bele is like passion fruit. It's fresh, it's fruity, it's musty. It's unisex as well. It so freaking good. And I absolutely love the presentation of that with that big, heavy cap. Next up, Zerjoff Mephisto has carnation, it has that aquatic thing, and it's just a little bit of metallic nuance in there that's so fresh and so clean. This is compared quite often to Creed's Silver Mountain Water. However, I prefer this fragrance to Creed's Silver Mountain Water because it's something about the way that this is composed that it just agrees with my chemistry a little bit more. Next up, Merchant of Venice Venetian Blue is a newer addition to my collection. I'm feeling this fragrance a lot. One reason being is because it marries two styles of fragrances that I have smelled separately and brings it all into one place. If you've ever smelled Dylan Blue by Versace with Creed Aventus or Cedric Boise, put it together, that's what you get. I think this is probably a little bit more wearable version of that smoky, fruity DNA. This one, ugh. It has that cool blue shower gel vibe and then later on it kicks up with that smoky, fruity freshness. And I don't even know how it manages to put it all together. Smoky, fruity, and fresh. How do you do that? Next up, Mancera Vetiver Sensual is a very bright designer-like niche fragrance. Just smells good. It features the note of vetiver and I love vetiver. Vetiver is one of my favorite notes. It's so crisp, clean, dapper, and gentlemanly. If you've never smelled Mancera Veteran since well, do yourself a flavor. Check it out. As you can see, it's a decent little dent in there as well. Next up, Zerjoff Coro. This is a Selfridges exclusive. I enjoy this fragrance because it gives me a very luxurious, fruity, musky vibe. On my skin, this one is a banger. It's fresh, it's fruity, it's musky, it's so clean and so sexy. I got harder on the spray with this one because to me, it wears a little bit like a candied fruit situation and the musk. Next up, Montal's Oud Lagoon. Fragrance is a way that I like it. And this is no exception. It comes off like a luxurious fabric softener. 
I'm still enamored with it to this day. And that's rare for me. For me to still be enamored with the fragrance as I was three or so years ago when I first smelled it should demonstrate to you how well that fragrance evokes a feeling. It really reminds me of summertime. Tierra Flower. Ugh. Hose myself down in it. Next up, Jardin Exclusive. Jardin Exclusive is one of my favorite fragrances by Men's Serum. Partially because it too has that fresh clean thing like Dove salt in a way. Jardin Exclusive, I remember having a sample of this in my pocket and it's, I took my things to the laundry. Everything in that batch smelled like Jardin Exclusive. I have a pair of shorts that I've not been able to get the scent out of yet. This fragrance hangs in the heat and it smells so sexy and so fresh. I'm gonna just have to, y'all just gonna have to deal with me layering up on these fragrances. I'm gonna smell so delicious. This is such a tropical, fruity, fresh fragrance. Next up, Kajal Lamar. This is a newer addition to my fragrance collection. I've had this maybe about six or seven months at this point. And to me, this one smells like drunken gummy bears. A nuance of floral that is present, but is not overstated. I wore it too in Mexico. When I tell you, hit 10. It smells like the pineapple gummy bears with a little bit of liquor and a little bit of florals. That's literally what I get on my skin. Next up, Roja Dove Burlington. I fell down a Roja rabbit hole late last year, earlier this year, and these were some of my most recent pickups. When I tell you this one has me in a chokehold, I have not enough good things to smell about it. It's a sharp, bitter orange and other citruses, and there's a very soft, like suede-like feeling I get from it. It's so clean, so fresh, and so dapper, while still being juicy and fruity and playful. It can do no wrong to me. Roja. And a lot of people say Rojas are overpriced. I don't disagree. I've not smelled a lot of fragrances like what they are putting out. And with that exclusivity, you can get a little bit of my money. It's something also kind of aquatic to it. Last but not least, Wilhelm Parfumeries Mango Skin. I have several different mango fragrances, which I'll be doing a mango fragrance list coming up soon. Mango Skin is one of those fragrances that is sexy, flirty, but still elusive. I love that this fragrance does its subtle dance on my skin. It comes up very candy sweet at first, then it settles down into the mango skin, a little bit more earthy, a little bit more decadent, a little more juicy without it being too candied. To me, on me, it kind of smells like mango shampoo and or mango gum. Mix those two together, whatever that looks like, that's what it's given. But the magic for me in this fragrance is in the dry down. It is so delicate and fresh, you almost don't recognize it as it dries down. It literally goes through the stages and feels like you're wearing a different fragrance with subtle nuances of the mid. I like it more than I thought I would. Again, that is my top whatever many fragrances for summer 2024. I hope you enjoyed this list. If you enjoyed this type of content, do us both a favor. Do us both a solid. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, share, and engage with me so that I know these are the type of videos that you want to see a little bit more of. In addition, I'm always down to just have a little tete-a-tete -tete and or shoot the shit. So hit your boy up. It's been your man, Uncommon Sense. I love you all. Have a great, safe summer. And we'll be back soon with the list to come. All right. I'm out.